all right is this thing on oh yeah gosh the uh anchor chain and snubber and everything was just caked in this nasty brown gooey fuzzy stuff this is after i rinsed it with the hose and uh this is what you're looking at here is actually the snubber and uh look at this do you recognize the pieces to one of those things uh, i actually installed that thing on the snubber thinking it might add some you know some more shock absorbing uh you know attributes but uh the thing actually ended up snapping so I, I don't think i was really using it for its intended purpose but now i got to get these things off of there and good golly they are really on there but anyways we're gonna focus on getting the heck out of here but first i need to bring in this nasty anchor chain Yeah, it's crazy, huh? Yeah. It's the muddiest anchor chain we've ever had. Yeah. I think the anchor was like eight feet deep. Okay, this is the anchor. It's not as near as I thought it would be. All right, got a little problem here. Ah, I hate when this happens. My chain castle's in there. Then it doesn't go through the hole anymore. <laughs> Ewe! Not too bad. My goodness, I bet there was there had to have been 300 pounds of mud on that anchor i mean they're on that you know on the whole chain good grief like 20 cubic yards of mud on that chain. folks uh, the inlet is just back there behind us uh, the wind situation so far is basically as predicted there is none yeah there's uh, the only wind we can feel is like five knots of apparent and that is nothing that we can sail with right now uh, so motoring onward we will that's all we can do uh, I will however go ahead and put up the uh, stay sail just sheet it in tight might add a little bit of stability but that's about all we can do right now um and we'll just reassess uh you know as the day and night go on and hopefully we'll get a little bit of sailing in but if not we'll happily motor all the way there because we are more than ready to be there after waiting for three weeks for a weather window yep is a rocky rolly washing machine kind of day out here right now what do you think tamby would you agree yeah yeah so i want to kind of show you 
the effects of the Gulf Stream. I don't know if right out there you might be able to see one of our buddy boats, Mauser. He's out that way, just at kind of 11 o'clock. But if you look at the, if you look at him on AIS, you can see that our path that we're taking is actually off to their port side. So again, Mauser's off that way, but the direction we're actually headed right now is actually more off in that direction. So there's Mauser, but we're actually going that way. The bow is pointing that way, buddy boat's that way, we're going that way. <sighs> kind of weird, huh? Here's another example. So you can see we're basically sailing east, more or less, slight, slightly north of east. But then if you look at the compass right there, you can see you're looking at 120 to 125 degrees where, you know, 90 degrees is off in that corner. So yeah, Gulf Stream is no joke. It's uh, moving pretty good today. Oh. Dinner, chicken salad. But uh, let's see, uh, Freeport and uh, Grand Bahama is maybe 20 miles ahead of us, but we're going to be passing that and uh, cruising on through the night. Um, there's a chance the conditions will stay just like this. There's also a chance that the wind will pick up a bit, maybe early morning, and we'll have possibly up to 15 knots of wind, unfortunately, directly from in front of us, the direction we're going. So. I'm actually kind of hoping it's just going to stay like this tonight. We'll just cruise on and uh, it'll be a, be an easy night. But it's been an easy day for the most part. It did get kind of rocky and rolly there for a while, but whew, thank goodness it calmed down. That that Those uh, larger seas seem, seem to be mostly concentrated in the Gulf Stream. But man, it feels good to be out here. It feels good to be making progress towards the Bahamas. We are really looking forward to being out there again. And uh, this season in particular, it just feels like it's taking a lot of work to get there. And uh, it's just gonna feel that much better when we finally arrive. Got the stay sail up there. Acting like it's doing something, but it's not really doing a whole lot of anything really. But it did help possibly stabilize us a little bit when things were really moving around a lot. But we'll just leave it up through the night. I am really pleased with how the dinghy rides up here. It's actually situated right between those two mass pulpit bars, so it can't go to, to either side at all. And it can't go back, obviously, because of the mass. So just really controlling the front kind of keeps everything in place. It does actually sit right on top of this hatch right here, which is why I have that foam pad. But yeah, it rides up here nice. I do have one rope just going over the top and uh, just this little one on the front. And that's really all it takes to secure this thing. It's still kind of a beast to, uh, you know, flip over. That's still the part we're having the most struggle with. But uh, once we have it flipped over, it's pretty easy to move around. Oh, here we go, Molly. The conk horn blow at sea. All right, we're ready. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, that thing really stays in tune well, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Very nice. Yeah.
We are just about there, folks. It's been a uh, long but uneventful night. I don't think I actually got any sleep at all, real sleep. But uh, I did get to lay down for six hours, right? Didn't we do? Yeah. So we each did three, sh three two-hour shifts. Yep. This is our chart plotter setup out here for at night. So had this one facing the back of the boat, and this second big one right here facing this area where we're both kind of relaxing. Ta-da! Here we are. Great Harbor Key anchored, and we have already checked in. I totally forgot to film it. <laughs> I feel like I'm sleepwalking a little bit, a little fuzzy, but uh, we're about to raise our cue flag. Or, our courtesy flag. I told you I'm fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, courtesy flag. All right, let's get that thing up, ladies. Da 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 da. Three, two, one. <laughs> First conch blow of the Bahamas. Hey, that thing is still in tune. Yep. <laughs> Look at that beautiful sunset from just outside of our window. As we enjoy this feast of tubular meat inside a long sliced piece of bread. <laughs> I kind of slept a little today, I think, maybe. Took a little nap this afternoon. Things have been a little fuzzy. Uh, operating on very, very little sleep. Same for Tamby. Yeah, I took a little nap, I think, today. Brain's not functioning properly right now. Yeah. Now, I was telling Molly how I really feel like we dropped the ball, Tamby and I, by not allowing Molly to do a watch with us. Mm -hmm. Should have put her out there too, Tampy. I know. Instead of me and you alternating for 12 hours, we should have got her involved. That would have given us more rest and given the kids some interesting experience too. Mm -hmm. I know you could handle it. It's no big deal. Pretty much just keeping us from, you know, running into cruise ships or cargo ships or islands or, you know, just being sure we're aimed in the right direction and not going to hit anything in the middle of the night. That's really what it comes down to. Mm -hmm. And I know you can do that mm -hmm. because it's really, it's really um, for your own good as well. Not just mommy and I. <laughs> okay. All right. Not feeling super creative with uh, the um, narration right now. So I'm going to end this clip with this. How does it feel to finally be in the Bahamas? Are you liking this temperature? Is the humidity, uh, oh, whoa, okay. Humidity level okay? Yeah? You like the lack of uh, pollen in the air? How are your allergies? Minimal, I assume? Excellent, good to hear it, sir. Well, you enjoy your stay in the Bahamas now, okay? Do you have any- Oh, that's a fantastic little dance there, Skippy. <laughs>